So today, the Pokemon company had a little direct of sorts, uh, a Pokemon Presents, where they offered some new info on current and some upcoming titles. With the first part of the Sword and Shield DLC dropping today, I didn't really expect much in terms of big news for, you know, like big boy games. And it did start with a lot of mobile stuff. There's like a Pokemon toothbrushing game coming for parents who have trouble getting their bratty kids to clean their rotten mouths. Hey, you know, let them catch some of these deformed Pokemon by brushing their teeth. That'll get them to do it. Actually, I, I could see that working. There was this Pokemon puzzle restaurant game. You complete these little puzzles and Pokemon help you serve meals in this cafe you're running. Eh, this is this one is also coming to the Switch, but yeah, it's a it's a phone game as well, so it looks and plays like a mobile game. They did detail some things for the new Isle of Armor DLC as well. There's going to be an event going on for Zara Aura, and if a million people beat the raid within a time period, they'll get a shiny version of the Pokemon. I do really like this sort of stuff for Sword and Shield. Uh, the raid stuff was a highlight, in my opinion, and I like having this time-limited stuff to push people who maybe haven't played a game in a bit to get back into it, as well as make sure there's a beefy pool of people uh, trying to play the content. And of course, Pokemon Go had to get some attention. Mega Evolutions are coming over, which is kind of cool. There's also stuff going on in that game in conjunction with the Sword and Shield DLC, you're going to get new outfits based on the Isle of Armor, as well as Galarian Farfetch'd is coming over to go. And this is all the type of stuff I expected to see. But there was one more new game shown off here. New Pokemon Snap. Holy shit, did this look amazing. If you follow my channel, you probably know that when I've discussed other things they could be doing with the Pokemon franchise, I almost always talk about bringing back Pokemon Snap. This actually dates back to the Wii U days where I was talking about how I thought they could bring back Pokemon Snap and have you use like the gamepad as the camera. I thought that would have been cool. Obviously it didn't pan out, but hey, when you're talking about such a specific spin-off getting a sequel, I'll take it whenever I can. This game was a huge hit when I was a kid. Yes, I'm old enough to have grown up with the original 64 version that they just had to stress came out like 20 years ago. It was so cool being able to see Pokemon in this unique way, sort of like just doing their own things in the wild, being able to also interact with them a little bit by like throwing fruit in that in an attempt to get those perfect shots. And I also think this type of game makes a lot of sense in the current times we're in, where just about everyone is a, a photographer in some sense with their phones. You got like the Instagram and that that all the kids are into. So even though this is an older IP, I think this could be even more attractive in current year. And it is looking like they're going all out with this. These visuals, boys, my god. I'm I'm definitely in the camp that complained about the visuals in Sword and Shield. Just felt they could have done way more with the power of the Switch. And yeah, if you didn't believe that before, if you were for some reason a person who thought that Sword and Shield was the best they could do, well, what do you think about this? This truly looks like a next-gen Pokemon experience. I mean, some of these shots with, like, the Pokemon swimming through the water, the, the water looks so clean, and, like, the foliage and the forest area, the terrain details. From the bit we saw, Pokemon Snap looks like it's going to absolutely embarrass Sword and Shield in terms of visual quality, which it's, like, that's pretty sad considering, uh, again, this is a spin-off, and those are core games. <laughs> I don't know if I can really think of another instance where a spin-off games looked dramatically better than their core product. Now, I don't want to use this to just keep dunking on Sword and Shield. Game looks amazing, though, and is definitely the first Pokemon game for Switch that I am extremely excited for. I am for sure going to be following this game very closely. But the event still wasn't quite done there. At the very end, Ishihara mentioned there is one more big Pokemon project in the works that he wanted to talk about, and he's going to share info on that next week. So there's another one of these events coming on the 24th, and it sounds like it's going to just be centered on this one game, which tells me it's probably going to be pretty big. I don't want to get people's hopes up, but if this is those coveted Gen 4 remakes, whew, this could be a very good week. 
for Pokemon fans, that's for sure. It could be a variety of things, though. Okay, people have said perhaps it's a Let's Go sequel of sorts. I, I hope not. <laughs> but after this snap announcement, it's going to be hard for me to get too disappointed in whatever it is. And hey, maybe this is sort of going to be the start of a, a bit of a turnaround for the Pokemon company, Game Freak, etc., giving players more of what they actually want. Anyway, I'm going to cut this off here. Just wanted to share that I'm insanely hyped for this new Pokemon Snap game. Think it looks phenomenal so far. And I hope this is just the beginning of getting more impressive looking games out of the Pokemon IP. So with that, this video is a wrap. Let me know your thoughts on this Pokemon Presents show in the comments. What did you think about the new content that was shown? Are you as excited as I am about Snap? And what do you think is this big announcement that's coming next week? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this discussion of this recent episode of Pokemon Presents. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to keep the conversation going, hit me up on Twitter at Johnny Zakari and join my Discord, Shy Guy and Friends. Link to both in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.